Hello everyone, welcome to Mathematics Tutorial. So today, we will discuss about operations on functions, but we will focus only for the sum, the first operations on function sum. That is the result of addition. So sum, the formula in finding the sum of the given functions is the quantity of f plus g times x equals f of x plus g of x. I-distribute lang natin yung x. So, magiging f of x. Then, ito, distribute, magiging g of x. Then, tandaan, yan yung formula in finding the sum of the given functions. Number one, for example, if we have f of x equals 3x minus 2 and j of x equals x squared plus 2x minus 3. Find the sum of the given functions or the f plus g times x. So, anong gagawin natin? So, we will use this formula. So, that is f plus g times x equals f of x plus g of x. Then, we will substitute what is the value of f of x. So, ang value ng f of x is 3x minus 2. 3x minus 2 plus ito. The value of g of x is x squared plus 2x minus 3. Then, to add, you need to combine like terms. Ano ba yung like terms? When we say like terms, it is e, uh, the same exponent and the same variable. So, dito, in this given equation, or ito yung equation natin, ano yung like terms natin dito? So, we have 3x and 2x because they are the same variable and the same exponent. So, ang variable nila is x. Dito x. Then, yung exponent nila is 1. Understood na may 1 ito. Dito may 1. So, you need to add this 1. So, 3x plus 2x that is 5x. Then, another like terms. Ito, negative 2 and negative 3. So, negative 2 minus negative 3, that is negative 5. Then, ang last na ito is plus x squared. Is this your final answer? No. You need to arrange that in proper way on uh, operations on functions. Proper way of arranging or arrange the... Uh, equation. So, muna yung mas malaki yung exponent. So, x squared plus 5x minus 5. So, ito na yung sagot natin. x squared plus 5x minus 5. You cannot add unlike terms. For example, ito 3x plus x squared. So, you cannot add that one because that is unlike terms. Ang maad lang natin is yung like terms. Wow. Okay. Okay. Very good. So, example number 2, we have so let f of x equals equals x squared minus 5 and g of x equals 5x plus 4. So, find number 1 f plus g times x. Number 2, f plus g times 3. So, the value of x is here is 3. So, first, ito. So, using the formula, f plus g times x equals f of x plus g of x. Substitute lang natin. What is the value of f of x? That is, x squared minus 5 plus the value of g of x. Ito. That is 5x plus 4. 
Then, combine like terms. Ito, x squared. Walang kapariha. So, just copy. x squared. Negative 5 and positive 4. So, negative 5 plus 4. That is negative 1 plus 5x. Then, i-arrange natin yung final answer natin. That is x squared plus 5x minus 1. So, ito yung sagot natin. 5 x squared plus 5x minus 1. How about letter B? That is f of x or f plus g times 3. So that is f of x formula plus g of x. So ito yung f plus g times 3 equals. So ano yung value ng f of x natin? f of x. So, that is x squared minus 5 plus, ang g of x is 5x plus 4. Dito pa rin natin yung kukunan niya sa given. Ito. Then, substitute the value of x which is 3. So, si x magiging 3. So, that is 3 raised to 2 subtract 5 plus 5 Si x magiging 3, so times 3, plus 4. Then simplify, so 3 squared, 3 raised to 2, meaning that is 3 times 3. So that is equivalent to 9. So that is 9 minus 5 plus 5 times 3, that is 15, plus 4 equals, then simplify. Pag i-add natin lahat yan, that is, okay, so we have, ano yung sagot? So, 9 minus 5, that is 4, plus 4, that is uh, 8, plus 15, so that is 23. So, ito na yung sagot natin. The final answer is 23. Next, okay, number 3, so we have if f of x equals x minus 5 over 3x plus 7 and g of x equals 4x over 3x plus 7. So find the sum of the given function. So we have formula again that is f plus g times x equals f of x plus g of x. Again, substitute the value of f of x. So, ang value ng f of x is x minus 5 over 3x plus 7 plus value of g of x is 4x over 3x plus 7. So, since may wrong denominator, all you have to do is to find the LCD or less common denominator. So, since same denominator lang ito, so automatically, yung denominator natin is 3x plus 7. So, 3x plus 7 divide 3x plus 7, that is 1, times x minus 5. So, that is x minus 5 plus 3x plus 7 divide 3x plus 7 that is 1 times 4x so automatically the result is 4x then simplify or you need to copy the denominator and add only the numerator that is the rule in solving uh, fractions with the same denominator so copy the denominator and add only the uh, numerator so we have combined like terms x plus 4x that is 5x then minus 5 over 3x plus 7 tingnan natin yung numerator pwede pa natin masimplify what is the common of this term so 5 so ipalabas natin yung 5 so 5x may divide 5 so remaining is x the negative 5 divide 5 that is negative 1 
over 3x plus 7. So, ito na. Simplify. Okay? So, ito na yung value natin ng sum or the result of the given function. Next, number 4. So, we have if f of x equals if f of x equals x plus 3 and g of x equals x plus 7 over x minus 2 find the quantity of f plus g times x so again formula that is quantity of f plus g times x equals uh, f of x over or plus g of x substitute natin so we have the value of f of x is x plus 3 so x plus 3 then plus the value of g of x that is x plus 7 over x minus 2 then find the lcd so since yung denominator natin is x minus 2 automatically our denominator is or our lcd is x minus 2 so, understood na may 1 dito. Understood na may 1 dito yan ha. X minus 3. So, understood na may 1 dito yan. So, in order to find the sum of this given function. So, X minus 2. Ito. I-divide natin yan sa 1. So, the result is X minus 2 pa rin. I-times mo yan sa numerator. Ito. I-times mo yan sa numerator. So, that is X plus 3, then plus okay, plus then ito, denominator x minus 2 divide x minus 2 so the result is 1 times x plus 7 x plus 7, so pwede natin hindi lagay yung 1 kasi understood naman yan next, simplify so we have x times x we have x squared then x times 3 so that is positive 3x then negative 2 times x so that is negative 2x then negative 2 times positive 3 so that is negative 6 then plus ito ito natin lagay plus x plus 7 over the denominator x minus 2. Then, you need to simplify. So, like terms. Combine like terms. x squared. Meron bang like terms nito? Wala. So, you just copy. x squared 3x minus 2x plus x. So, 3x minus 2x, that is x plus x, so that is positive 2x. Then, this one, negative 6 plus 7, so that is plus 1 over x minus 2. Tingnan natin yung numerator, pwede pa ma-factor. So, what is the factor of this x squared plus 2x plus 1? So, ang factor nyan is... What are the two numbers that if you multiply, the result is 1. And if you add the two numbers, the result is 2. So, that is, tingnan natin, x squared plus 2x plus 1. How to factor this quadratic equation. So, yes, factorable ito. So, maghanap tayo ng value ng factor ng 1. Okay, what are the two numbers that if you multiply, the result is 1. So, that is 1 times 1 negative 1 times negative 1 but if you add the two numbers dapat ang result is positive 2 so this one 1 plus 1 equals 2 negative 1 minus negative 1 that is negative 2 so anong factor nya so ito so ang factor ng x squared plus 2x plus 1 is x plus 1 times x plus 1 over x minus 2 or 
final answer x plus 1 raised to 2 over x minus 2. So, ito na yung final answer natin. Next, if f of x equals x squared uh, plus 5x plus 4 and g of x equals x squared plus 2x minus 8. So, find f of x or f plus g times x. So, formula that is f plus g times x equals f of x f of x plus g of x substitute lang natin so value ng f of x is ito x squared plus 5x plus 4 then plus ito plus the value of g of x that is x squared plus 2x minus 8. Then, combine like terms. So, x squared plus x squared. So, understood my 1 dito, my 1. So, 1 plus 1 that is 2. Then, copy the variable and exponent. So, 2x squared. Then, ito, 5x plus 2x that is like terms. So, 5 times or plus 2 that is 7x. Then, last term, ito and this one. So, we have 4 minus 8, that is negative 4. So, that is our final answer.